How's it going everybody? We've been kind of busy out here in the uh, oh, man cave. With beavers? Other critters, antlers, whitening skulls, editing videos, cleaning, organizing, all the goods. But I wanted to take the time to bring you guys this awesome recipe I concocted because it is that. It's awesome. And yes, it's beaver. You could use it on many other animals if you wanted to, like, I don't know, I'm sure raccoon, muskrat, rabbit, venison, beef, anything you could probably think of that you want to try this recipe in, it would probably work. I don't see why it wouldn't. The key to any wild game is trying to, for people that are skeptical about eating wild game, is masking the wild game taste behind it. Which, in the first place, I don't think beaver has that flavor because I've had it just fried in butter and I think it tastes like beef. But with this recipe, it's guaranteed you wouldn't think it's any other thing than a nice slab of beef wrapped in bacon because that is what this is. It is beaver loin wrapped in bacon. So this meal is gonna feed about two to three people. The ingredients of this recipe. Two large beaver back straps. We trim off the silver skin. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Four cloves of garlic, which you end up crushing. We also have two medium onions, white onions, chopped. So they're a little bit thicker, not minced, not sliced, they're chopped, so it's bigger chunks of onion. We have two dried chili peppers, dehydrated chili peppers. You can use fresh. You probably wanna remove some seeds if you don't like hot stuff. I removed a little bit of the seeds out of these dehydrated ones, and I wish I wouldn't have removed any. It was just warm enough. It's like um, nice and warm, but if you don't like hot stuff, remove the seeds or skip the chili peppers altogether. I think it's perfect with just chili peppers with half the seeds removed. Then we have five baby yellow tomatoes. Whoa, tomatoes, potatoes. Five baby yellow potatoes, and we have those chopped into bigger chunks, basically quartered. One cup of baby carrots, give or take a cup whatever floats your boat. And then we're gonna have our bacon. Six to eight slices. And then you're gonna need either one cup of beef stock or game stock. And lastly, we're gonna have one sprig of rosemary. There's no salt, no pepper, anything other seasonings that are added other than what I just listed off. This is basically the flavoring of everything you're getting putting in there and you're not gonna mask anything else. The bacon is the masking portion. You get your salt from the bacon, you get your fattiness from the bacon because the meat's pretty lean. So that is what you're using to get your saltiness or your smoked flavor from. We're gonna begin by preheating the oven to 375 degrees. Make sure you hit start because in this clip, I forgot to hit start. <laughs> After we trim off all of the sil silver skin of the loins, cut into portions. Generally, one loin will give you three portions of meat. Wrap the loin in bacon and secure with toothpicks. And the toothpicks we'll remove later on after we get them cooking up a little bit. Heat a cast iron pan or any oven safe pan that you have, but we're gonna heat that pan up to medium heat and add two tablespoons of olive oil. And when we add those two tablespoons of olive oil, we will then place the bacon wrapped loin of the beaver into the pan and begin cooking. We're gonna cook the loins and the bacon until the outside of the bacon is golden and mildly crispy. And then we're gonna remove the pieces from the pan and plate them for a little bit. If the bacon is crispy enough, toothpicks can be removed at this time. Otherwise, you can wait until you plate the food to eat and remove the toothpicks then. After plating the beaver, drain the majority of the bacon grease into a bowl. You want a little bit left over for our veggies. So with the remainder of the grease left in the pan, add the onions and begin to caramelize the onions. Once your onions are caramelized, add in your baby carrots, your crushed garlic, your chilies, and your potatoes. And just stir them up in there. Just give them a little stir. Once your stuff is all mixed into your pan, add a cup of beef stock or game stock, whatever you have on hand and bring the contents and the stock up to a simmer. Once the contents are up to a simmer, we are gonna add the one sprig of rosemary into the liquid and add back in the bacon wrapped beaver loin. By this time, our oven should be preheated to 375 degrees. So at this time, as the stuff is simmering in the pan, you're gonna remove it off the stovetop and you're going to put it into your oven. We're gonna roast the contents in the oven for approximately 30 minutes, depending on how your potatoes are. The first time I cooked it this way, I kind of forgot about it in the oven. Ended up leaving it in there for an hour. Still turned out great, just a little bit crispier than what I was hoping for. When the 30 minutes or the allotted time that you need 
for it to reach what you want for the potatoes, remove from the oven, and it can then be plated. And if you haven't removed your toothpicks, I would now recommend at this time removing your toothpicks so you don't choke on one. It's best eaten with a big old chunk of bread with some butter on it and a giant glass of milk. This meal is a meal, like a feel good meal. And really overall, it's a pretty healthy meal, especially since you're consuming all whole foods. When it's removed from the oven, you'll notice most of the broth or the, the stock is, is now evaporated or soaked up by the contents in the pan. And it'll look golden and yummy and delicious. You might want to let it sit on the stove top for a little bit to cool off because it will be hot coming out of there. But when you're ready to plate that thing, you're going to take about two pieces of your loin, put that on your plate, get some of the potatoes in there, some of the carrots, maybe a little clove of garlic, and then maybe a little bit of the rosemary. Get that all on top of that plate. Cut yourself a big old chunk of bread or a nice slice of Spots' of bread because Spots' of bread's good. Big old glass of milk. And then, uh, you know, you're going to consume that thing and you're going to mow down on it and you're going to love it because it is delicious. So I hope you enjoyed this meal. We're gonna bring some more wild game stuff to you before too long. The next mission I got is muskrat. So stick around if you want more of that, this stuff, more trapping, hunting, fishing, all that goody goody. And like I said from the beginning, you could probably use any meat you want to for this recipe because it is just a wholesome, good recipe. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you use it and I hope you like it. And if you don't like it, there's something wrong with your taste buds. But until next time, as always, I appreciate you all watching and I'll catch you on the flip side. See you later. Are you ready to go inside? <laughs>